Honestly, about. like that's the main reason I'm not doing it is like, to be honest, I'm pretty mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted. I've been competing for a year straight. Um, tolls can be taken. All right, so Caitlin Clark is absolutely killing it in the WNBA. She's a total beast out there. But here's the thing. Can the Indiana Fever actually hold on to this superstar? The Olympic break could change everything. In this video, we're diving deep into Caitlin's world. We're talking crazy stats, the drama going on with the fever, and some potential game changers that could turn this whole thing upside down. And guess what? We've got some juicy rumors about a basketball legend who might be about to enter the mix. Stay tuned. Back Benley. Here's Clark, a good look from three. She got it! The first three! First, let's talk about Caitlin Clark's crazy stats. She's absolutely on fire in the WNBA. In the last 10 games before the All-Star break, she was averaging almost 19 points, 6 rebounds, and get this, 11 assists per game. That's insane. She's not just playing well, she's rewriting the rookie rule book. Like, 11 assists a game? That's crazy. She's not only scoring, but making everyone else look good too. But here's the thing, the Indiana Fever aren't keeping up. Their record is kinda rough. We're talking about an 11, 15 record. So it's clear something's gotta change if they wanna stay at the top of the league. I mean, last year without Caitlyn was way worse, but they, they could be doing so much better. And let's not forget about Caitlyn's minutes. She's playing way too much. Almost 40 minutes a game, that's hard on anyone. No wonder she skipped the All-Star Weekend Skills competitions. She's gassed. Ball played. Uh, we didn't play real defense. All right, fair assessment. Nice pass from like Clark. Right yeah. Speaking of the All-Star game, something super interesting happened there. Caitlin Clark might be frustrated with the fever, but she was definitely making moves during All-Star Weekend. First off, she got to hang out with Cheryl Miller. You know, the legend Miller coached the All-Star team, and she and Caitlin clicked. Like, really clicked. Miller was showing these crazy offensive plays that made the Fever's offense look like a joke. Caitlin was soaking up everything, learning from a pro. And that's not all. She was also hanging out with Sophie Cunningham from the Mercury. They were like old friends, talking courtside and stuff. Cunningham was all like, Caitlin makes the game so easy for her teammates. And guess what? All of this happened right in front of the cameras. Well, let's talk about Caitlin Clark, because she's the breakout star of the WNBA right now with the highest salary in league history. Yeah. And Caitlin is getting a front row seat to how other teams do things. She's seeing how different coaches handle their stars, how much they value their players, and more importantly, she's feeling the love from the league. It's like night and day compared to the fever. She's getting all of this love and respect from legends and superstars, while it feels like the fever didn't really appreciate her at the start of the season. Now, the question on everyone's mind is, is this gonna change where Caitlyn ends up? Other teams are definitely paying attention. But let's talk about the fever. Things aren't looking good. Coach Christy Sides is taking a beating, and it's not hard to see why. Putting a rookie like Caitlyn on the court for almost 40 minutes a game, that's an injury waiting to happen. And it's not just that. Her plays are basic, like really basic. Compare that to what Cheryl Miller was doing at the All-Star game, and it's clear the Fever isn't using their talent to the fullest. She is the NCAA's all-time leading scorer of men and women. In February, she broke the woman's record. So the big question is, how long can the Fever keep this up? they need to make some serious changes, or they're gonna lose more than just games. They risk losing their star players too, especially after Caitlyn showed the world what she can do at the All-Star Game. The fever needs to step up and fast. But hey, there might be a silver lining. You ready for this? There are rumors that Cheryl Miller, the same one who killed it as a coach at the All-Star Game, might be the next head coach of the Indiana Fever. And this isn't just gossip. She showed everyone exactly what the Fever needs. Her plays were fire. Double screens, pick and rolls, the whole nine yards. It made Caitlyn and the other stars look like MVPs. Compare that to what we've seen from the Fever, there's a huge difference. Miller's got the experience of coaching the Phoenix Mercury and USC. She's also got the respect and clearly gets along with Caitlyn. Imagine her coaching a team with Caitlyn as the leader. It could be a game changer. 
to, to talk about and speak and then put it into pieces and places. And But it was a great collaboration with all the players, but uh, Indiana has a very, very bright future. For Caitlin, having a coach like Cheryl Miller could make a huge difference. I mean, Miller knows the game inside and out. She could take Caitlin's game to another level. The Fever needs a serious shakeup, and Miller seems like the perfect person to do it. Now, the question is, will the Fever actually make this bold move? If they don't, they risk losing Caitlin's shine. But if they do bring in Miller, it could be exactly what the Fever needs to become a real contender in the WNBA. And let's be honest, it would probably keep Caitlin happy and thriving in Indiana. Now, speaking of making Caitlin happy, let's talk about what she's been up to lately. So the Fever went to chill in Mexico for a month because of the Olympics. You know, where our WNBA stars are gunning for that gold. Caitlin Clark, our number one draft pick, was officially on vacation after a crazy year. She dragged along some of her Fever teammates and her boyfriend, Connor McCaffrey, for the ride. There have been a lot of pictures going around on Instagram where they look super relaxed in bikinis and stuff. It was like a major vacation vibe, but don't let the sunshine fool you. Behind the scenes, it's serious business. This break is a huge deal for the WNBA. Teams are making power moves. You've got Liberty and Mercury throwing money around and building fancy new arenas. They want stars like Caitlyn, and who can blame them? But it's not just about money. There's a chance the whole WNBA could change with a new contract. Rookie deals might get tossed out, and players could make a ton more cash. This means Caitlyn could be a free agent sooner than we think. Every team will be fighting to sign her. The Fever's got a big problem. If they don't step up their game, they could lose Caitlyn. They need to make some serious changes, like hiring a coach like Cheryl Miller and building a better team around her. This Olympic break is crunch time. The next few weeks are going to decide the future of the WNBA. Caitlyn's the hottest ticket in town, and the Fever needs to act fast. You feel like you good. actually got a chance to get away and people went, leave you alone a little bit? It went fast. It definitely went fast, but it was, it was good to get a little reset, and I feel like I was definitely kind of ready to get back here and get playing basketball again. So Now, as Caitlin Clark returns from her break, all eyes are on how she'll handle the next chapter. She seems to be brushing off that whole Team USA snub, and she's back at it with the Indiana Fever, putting in work. But let's be real. This is just the calm before the storm. Caitlin's a superstar, but the Fever's got some serious decisions to make. They need to figure out how to handle this incredible talent. Are they going to build a championship team around her or let her slip through their fingers? The whole WNBA is watching. The next few weeks could completely change the game. We might see a new power player emerge or the Fever could turn things around. Either way, it's going to be wild. So stick around. We're keeping a close eye on everything. As soon as there's news about Caitlyn, the Fever, or any major shakeups in the league, you'll be the first to know. Now, what do you think is going to happen next? Will Caitlyn stay with the Fever? Is Cheryl Miller the missing piece? Or are we going to see Caitlyn rocking a new jersey next season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And while you're at it, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video.